Hello and welcome to Local 2 and Everything Sue with Mike Caruso. I have Kelna McGoldrick with me today. And who do you have with you? I have Jennifer Daynard, a very special person and a big part of this whole event. Well, well, what's happening here? It seems to me that the whole Sault Ste. Marie is here. What's happening? I think so. There's so many exciting things going on. We've got art making in one corner, we've got children's activities in another, we've got bands playing, we've got food. We're all having a great time. We even had a drop-in wedding party. Go figure. It's wonderful. <laughs> and it's all for the West End, for this city. We want to show people that we care. Jennifer wrote our play, which we'll be performing, and uh, I want to let her talk a little bit about that event. Okay, but uh, all the money is going towards the soup kitchen or the area? The money is going to the soup kitchen, but it's part of our new initiative. We want to start a community health and child care center. Oh, good. Yes, and that's going to help fund it and keep our planning committee going and you'll help us to be able to make more decisions. Mm -hmm. and, and this will benefit the whole city, the whole downtown area. Oh, sure. Yeah, right. health care back downtown. And, you know, more of a drop-in thing, looking at what people really need, talking to people, because we want their input. It's yeah. our version of a street nurse, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. We originally were going to have a, we talked about a community health bus, mm -hmm. but we Long decided, about, yeah, yeah having, a, having it all in one place where people knew where we were located and could just come and get help if they need it. We have people that are willing to advocate and find the help they need. Kelna the tells me that you've done a lot of work. What, what have you done so far? Uh, <laughs> everything. No, yes. no I, I did, uh, I was doing the marketing, getting the word out there. Uh, we have a lot of local fine arts and crafts vendors here today and they're amazing too. They've yeah, been they are. Great. Oh, they're I've also, seen some of that art. Yeah, they're donating 10% of their profits yeah. to our venue, venture. All yeah. the musicians are performing free. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. everybody chipped in. The yeah, entire they, sound system and the big awesome setup was donated by Equitech and they're here yeah. manning it voluntarily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, musicians in the city are great. They, they are. are. They, they really are. And the support. Yeah. And everybody we asked said yes. Yeah. Yes, we'll do yeah. it. Yes. And people showed up yeah. today that we didn't know they were going to show up. We have the firemen here with their truck and yeah. 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 ski yeah. patrol guy with his first aid stuff. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned the play. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the play um, and who wrote it? And The play is titled In My Shoes. I wrote it in 2009. I'm directing it this time. It's my directorial debut. <laughs> I'm also stage managing because we were running short because Soothfest, right? So it's true stories from around the soup kitchen. Okay, when I started working at the soup kitchen, one of my duties was to gather stories for a book that Kelna was putting together. It was stories from people that go to the soup kitchen to get it out there in public. And Kelly, the one day mentioned, you know, my dream has actually been to do it as a play. Because people will read the book or they won't, they'll put it down, you know, they'll skim through the stories. But if you present it as a play, people are going to listen. And we really, really wanted to do that. So I took those stories and turned it into a play. I've rewritten it and rewritten it so many times. Yeah. And this, we haven't performed in about a year because we lost Teddy Hurley and he was a big part of our play. Yeah. He was our never missed a rehearsal. Family. He was in a wheelchair. Yeah. But they had to carry him upstairs in his wheelchair to do performances yeah. and it was really hard to rewrite it after that. Yeah. But So I took that and wrote something to gear it towards the community health center because a lot of the stories, again, they come back to the, having the community health center available. Like people that passed away that shouldn't have, that only needed some help with mental health issues that if they had had a support network, might have turned out differently, you know? Yeah. What time is it going to be? Uh... The place at 7.30. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to add, she's far too humble. I was part of the marketing. She painted the photo booth. She was printing midnight at a church because we ran out of printed materials. She said, I'll run over and I'll do it. She was up first thing, first one here. Um, I, I can't even, she did the Facebook pages. I, I mean, just go on and on. She's Wonder Woman. The venue book. <laughs> the venue book. And it's not only the pride of one's work, it's the volunteerism that she's showing. She, yeah. 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 Well, we're all faces of the soup kitchen. I mean, really, yeah. how far away are any of us from being in need of the soup yeah. kitchen? You know? Right. You get hurt at work and become disabled, and there isn't much money when you're disabled. No. There's a lot of them there that they're living very humbly. Mm -hmm. And not even living, really. They're surviving. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Barely, yeah. I see that the, there's judges in here, lawyers, yeah. former principals of high schools, yeah. and former MP and yeah. MPP, and there's everybody in here. Yeah. And they're all... They're, they're all together. Are the There's time. also people from the soup kitchen that you know eat there because they have to, and they're everybody's working together. You know, mm -hmm. and that's what we want this community to be about. Let's yeah. work together. You know, to change to help people to make this community better. We and do. to let the rest of Canada know that the raps we've been getting lately aren't true. Exactly. We do have to give kudos to this city for pulling together like yeah. this. It is amazing the people that are here joining together as a community because we are we're a great community and oh yeah even this venue i mean how spectacular is it and mm -hmm. you know they've worked with us to do everything they're out doing tours showing people with their plans yeah I mean, huge plans yeah it's so exciting yeah. i i'm a resident of the downtown area myself and i love my house i love my neighborhood and to tell people that i live you know in jamestown it kind of has a stigma and you know my husband and I both work full time. It's not like we're living there in poverty. We live in a nice house and it's just yeah. the community is getting better and better and we need something over here like this. Like the River's Edge development is yeah. If they get the half the stuff that they're talking about, it's just gonna bring so much so it, much to this it's neighborhood. It's all about the haves giving to the have nots. Yeah. And that's the biggest And all of us yes. working together. There's so much so so many yeah. examples of that here today. Yeah. Anything else, Kelma? I was the face of the soup kitchen, and now it's in the right place. The community is the face of the soup kitchen. And I just have to say I'm so happy the way everything's working out. Thank you very much. Welcome. You guys are angels. Well, you're a saint, but both of you are a saint. <laughs> Jennifer's, Jennifer's close to obtaining sainthood, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.